Hey guys, Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial. This one's going to be a bit more of a basic one, but I've had a lot of comments asking how I've been doing this in some of my videos, so I'll be going over it here. So the first thing, I'm actually only going to be going over two things, but the first thing I'm going to go over is how do we cut a brush so that you can cut open doors, like basically holes in the wall for a door or a window or something along those lines, just to be able to cut the brush. Uh, the second thing I'm going to go over is how to manipulate the corners of brushes so that you can actually adjust the like the size, length, angles, and all that of the brush itself. And then that's going to be it for the tutorial, so why don't we jump in it. Alright guys, so we're back in our test map, it's been a while now, but basically I'm just going to be going over how to do a lot of the brush work that I've been doing in some of my tutorials here. So I'm just going to really quickly change the grid size so you can do it from up here but you also notice the numbers here represent uh, shortcuts for going to these sizes so I just kind of on my keyboard I'm pressing the numbers to kind of change the grid size here uh, so if I select four that's pretty much a an eighth uh, unit thick wall uh, but I can go down to three and put it down to about a four I like to use about an eight or four thickness for my walls so we'll just go ahead and make a wall uh, one thing to note is in Call of Duty standards for uh, gameplay, 128 units seems to be roughly how tall a room should be. Uh, I'll be going over more gameplay standards and whatnot in a new uh, tutorial later, but this is going to be just kind of going over the brushes themselves. So let's say we have our brush here, and we want to create a window in this brush. Uh, what we're going to do is, the thing is, a brush always has to be a square or rectangular shape unless you cut it. So what we're going to have to do is cut the brush. So to do that, you're going to want to hold the control button and then right click uh, somewhere. So we're going to be creating a line to cut along the brush. So say I wanted to cut along right here. What I'm going to have to do is hold control and right click anywhere along that line and create two points. So that's, it set, says one right here and I can actually left click drag this one if I need to. Um, but then I'm going to hold control again and I'm going to right click and then it's going to create a second one. You can see there's a purple line right here. So here's the thing. If this same issue happened in World at War, if you hit enter, it's going to delete one side of it. Um, we don't want that. We want to just keep the cut. So I'm, I'm going to just undo there. I'm going to go control, select my two points again. So I'm right clicking and then I'm going to hold shift and then hit enter. And that will keep both sides, but do the cut. So now we have two separate brushes here. So we're actually able to cut these apart and whatnot and have the two brushes be two separate entities. So you, you don't have to do straight lines and whatnot. You can also go ahead and do angled lines and it'll cut exactly where you do it. I'm hitting escape to uh, basically get out of the cut if I don't want to do it. But say I like, oh, I missed it and I meant to do it in a straight line. I can just go over and move the, the second spot to be actually in line just by left click dragging so there we go that's going to be how you make a cut so let's say we have our second cut here so then we're going to have this part be the window in between those like let's say it's these four uh squares here you can see one two three four so i'm going to roughly wow that was dead on i just kind of guess and go a horizontal line and now I don't need to create another cut. I could create another cut here and just delete up the center, but I could also just deselect, select this one and just drag it down. So that's it really. Uh, if you're just trying to create a basic uh, window or door, if it was a door, I just don't even have the bottom part here. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty basic for trying to actually just create a window. You'd probably want to have a uh, glass and a frame and all that added onto it. Uh, so it's similar to how like I have the door frame here, which is just a model, but in reality, I've just cut the brush and the reason why it's uh, see-through is I have the cock texture there. So it, it is just a whole bunch of brushes here. Um, but that just kind of goes over how to cut a brush and be able to cut holes in walls. And you can go a bit more in depth here. Like say you were trying to make a break in the wall, you could really just go ahead and make a whole bunch of cuts. And this is where we're gonna move into our edge tool. So say I want this to be slanted, I could go ahead and start making cuts to make it look like it's broken wall and just kind of keep making it jagged and whatnot. But I could also just have a whole bunch of these and click E. So if I have a brush selected and I select E, you'll notice I get all these blue dots on it. 
If I'm in the 2D view, you can see there's one on each corner as well as one in the middle. I don't tend to play with the ones in the middle too much, but if you select the ones on the corner and you left click drag, I can actually manipulate the brush to be slanted and whatnot. So I could actually go ahead and create a whole bunch of different, uh, basically a whole bunch of different brushes that have different angles and whatnot. And then that can go ahead and create things that might look like a broken wall. It's a bit basic and it's not gonna look as detailed as some of the other things because you get a very straight uh, cutoff. And in fact, I think I'm gonna go with a wall thickness of four just because it looks a bit better. But I'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, you can just keep going ahead like this and keep cutting and then manipulating the walls by pressing E and E gets you back out into normal mode as well. If you tried moving stuff while you're in E, it's not going to cut as well. But yeah, so that's basically going to be it for this tutorial. That's how you cut a brush. And I just copied, uh, pasted and rotated that there. But you know, you can just go ahead and do all this. So that's basically going to be it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be doing more gameplay standards and uh, small tutorials like these because I, it seems a lot of people are struggling to get the, uh, the fundamentals of Radiant down. So I'll try to keep going over those and then I'll eventually be getting into more in-depth tutorials like uh, for scripting and advanced stuff later. Alright guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.